Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Hello and welcome back to Daily December. I know we missed a few days there. If you watch my weekly vlog that I posted yesterday, you'll understand why last week just got a bit mental on the day that I was supposed to be filming for the week I ended up um, on a shoot for something fun. Um, but yeah, so that just meant that the videos were really behind. But we're back now and that's all that matters. So, for those of you who don't know, I am doing a video every day throughout December. So if you do enjoy this video, I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe. So towards the end of last week, I went to speak at an event at my old school. The event was called Inspiring Females, because I don't know if you know, I'm very inspiring. <laughs> While I was there, I went and spoke to the sixth formers, which if you're not from the UK, that means, um, students who are between 16 and 18. I'm going to keep referring to them as girls because I went to a girls school so they were all girls. Um, but so I got to speak to the girls who were 16 to 18 years old about life after school, um, sort of my experiences of university and gap years and after university and all that sort of stuff. And through speaking to those girls we got onto a few topics or they asked me a few questions about some things that have kind of given me some food for thought over the last few days so I just yeah it's what I've been thinking about so I thought it's what I would talk about in this vlog. So one of the questions that I got asked by the girls quite a lot was do you have any regrets surrounding the decisions that you made about uni? And I think people talk about regrets quite a lot but honestly like regret to me sounds like a really active thing like if you regret something I, I imagine you sort of sit there and think about how much you wish you hadn't done something or you wish you had done something differently. And I don't do that. Um, that's not because I haven't made some dumb choices. I just think that sitting around actively regretting doesn't help. And also, like, you're never actually going to know what the outcome would have be been if you'd done something differently anyway. So, to an extent, I don't think there's really any point in beating yourself up over things you should have done or wish you'd done differently because you have absolutely no guarantee that things would have turned out the way you wanted them to anyway. I think all you can do if you regret something as in you feel like a choice that you made led to something happening that you didn't want to happen, all you can do is try and correct it. Does that make sense? That's not to say that I don't ever feel regret at all. I get like social embarrassment sometimes like um, you know sometimes when you're like oh god why did I say that <laughs> I get that a lot and I, like I do sometimes think back to things that I've said or done and think oh that's so embarrassing I really regret opening my mouth <laughs> um, but in terms of like actual decisions that I've made no because at the time it's what you wanted to do or it's what you felt was right and yeah, you have absolutely no way of knowing what would have happened if you'd chosen something differently anyway. So all you can do is work with what you've got, you know? And the other thing that we talked a lot about was other people, you and your friends moving on at different paces. I think when you're at school, everyone's very much at the same stage. Like, yeah, some people might be getting better grades than other people, but everyone is at school about to do their A-levels or about to take these exams or whatever it is, at, or worrying about what to do after school. So everyone's at that same point. As soon as you leave school, that idea of kind of everyone moving at the same pace completely leaves and some people move a lot faster than others, but then they might stop up here and other people might carry on going, you know? It, it's not a race. And I am someone who really believes in celebrating with your friends when they achieve things and celebrating with strangers when they achieve things. Um, just because what is the point in letting it make you feel less than? And I know that sometimes that's a lot easier said than done, don't get me wrong. I'm saying all this stuff as if it's in like an ideal world. Sometimes emotions get the better of you. But specifically what we were talking about at school was social media. I think it was actually a teacher that asked the question about, you know, what do you do about if you go on social media and you see everybody's doing really cool things and you don't feel that way. And there was a lot of discussion around, you know, you have to know that these things are contrived, that people only put the best bits on social media, they're only going to put, if they do something really fun, they're not going to put the days when they're like doing their laundry or whatever on Instagram and that is a very important thing to be aware of but also I think and 
it used to really get me down, I think, when you look at social media, it's so easy to go online and see all these people doing all these cool things or all these fun things with friends or like advancing in their careers or like getting engaged and having kids. But I think what you have to realise is that sometimes they're just running at different paces. Like just because you haven't got those things yet doesn't mean that you won't. And actually what's right for them might not be right for you. And what's right for you wouldn't be right for them either, you know? But so a couple of years ago, I sort of had to flick a bit of a switch in my brain and just say, look, when you see people doing cool things and they post it on Instagram or they post it on Facebook or whatever it is, comment saying congratulations and believe that for you, you know? So it's a bit like, you know, that scientific study where if you smile, you are happier. Like, if you smile, even if you pretend to smile, I don't know the ins and outs, but there was a study once where two sets of people were shown pictures of the same people. One set were forced to smile, and the other set were forced to frown, and then you had to give your opinions on those people, and the people who were smiling said that those people seemed nicer, and the people who were frowning said the opposite. And that... It's probably, there's more to it than that. But basically, that's kind of what I'm saying, like, if you scroll through Instagram looking like this, and going, oh, that's, oh, I want to, that's not fair, then it's not gonna help. One, it's not gonna help you. Two, it's not very nice. <laughs> and three, it's not very nice for you. <laughs> so it's not very nice for them, and it's not very nice for you. And I just think, you know, Everybody has ups, everybody has downs. If you want people to celebrate your ups with you, then you need to celebrate their ups with them. And actually nothing good ever comes out of jealousy. And I know that sometimes that's impossible to avoid because like we're people and humans and that's what happens. But so when you see someone on Instagram or on Facebook or in real life, why am I acting as if this only happens online? And they're telling you about something cool that they've done or something that they're happy about, don't sit there and think, oh, I wish that was me. Sit there and think, that's really cool that you've done that. That means I could also do that, or I could do something similar to that, or I can achieve something that will make me feel as good as you feel right now. And if that's the only way to get you through it, then do it. I think jealousy is a really natural emotion. Like, we're all people, we're all human. We're all gonna feel that way sometimes, and I think it's just about how you deal with it, isn't it? Just support each other, basically. If your friends, do shows, go watch them in their shows. If your friends do art, go look at their art. If your friends do science, go do the science support. I don't have friends that do science. <laughs> but check in with people, ask them how they are. Ask them about things that they're doing or things that they're trying to achieve and see how you can help one another because ultimately, just nicer, isn't it? <laughs> but anyway, those are my thoughts today. Um, let me know if you have any thoughts of your own in the comments. I'm sure you have some thoughts, but preferably ones related to this. Although they don't have to be, I suppose. I would also like you to let me know in the comments something cool that you've done recently or something that you are working towards because I would love to celebrate with you and I would love it if you would celebrate with each other in the comments as well. Thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Oh, the fire is slowly dying. And my dear, we're still goodbye. As long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow.